Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my weekly bathroom cleaning routine. I've seen tons of YouTubers do this. Most recently last night Brittany and Baby posted a video and it got me super motivated so I thought I'd go ahead and share my cleaning routine. This is just my weekly typical cleaning routine for my bathrooms. So starting out I use Windex, Clorox, Method Antibac, some paper towels, a, wa a washcloth type thing, and Swiffer pads. And that's pretty much it. I always start out by turning on some music, get me in the mood, and um, then I start working my way from top to bottom. I always work top to bottom. So first I'm going to wipe down my light fixtures, get those all clean, get all, all the dust off of them. Sometimes I will take out the light bulbs and dust in there, but typically I just dust on the little parts around them. I don't get too into it, too fancy or anything. I dust the vents on the ceiling. I dust around the trim, around the doors, because dust gets locked up there and you don't even realize it, but it gets nasty. Um, so I always make sure to do those. And then I start off by clearing off my counter space so that I have, I don't have anything in the way, nothing's, I'm not bumping into anything. Just get all of it off of there so that we have a clean space to work with. Um, and then I start off by just doing Windex all over my mirrors so that I can clear those off really quick. That's really super simple. And then after that, I move on to my countertops and I use the Method Anti-Back Spray. So I'm just spraying it all around and it has a 10 minute wait time. So you definitely want to make sure you give that 10 minutes to sit there so that it's actually working its anti-back material and actually cleaning. So while that's going, I get started on my toilet, so I'm just using bleach because, I don't know, I just like to use bleach on my toilets because nothing else feels like it gets it as clean as just straight up, you know, good old fashioned bleach. So I spray it all over the place, all over my toilet, wipe down the toilet, and I definitely always get that little part between the lid and the back of the toilet right there because I don't know how, but so much stuff gets trapped back there and it gets so gross so fast. It's definitely like... Ugh, it just, it's disgusting. So then I continue to wipe down the rest of my toilet, get all the seats, get it really good. Um, again, that little spot in the back that just gets so gross just absolutely disgusts me. And then I always get the bottom of the toilet seats too, of the toilet. Um, so much dust collects there, a lot too. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Clorox um, toilet bowl cleaner and let that sit in there for a second and kind of drip its way down and start cleaning. And then while that's going, I go ahead and go back to my counter and give that a good wipe down, clear it all off, it's all good to go. Make sure you always get the trim around the mirrors and the um, wall where your sink meets the, um, the wall. Wipe down the sink, get it really clean. <laughs> just go ahead and put everything back and now I'll grab my toilet bowl cleaner normally I use their Clorox um, handle thing and you just put a handle on it and you put this little thing on it and you don't have to bother with the brush but I'm trying to use up the rest of my Clorox um, gel cleaner so I'm using just a good old-fashioned brush um, and then I never just put it back in the thing because I feel like that's nasty um, I always just kind of leave it on the edge of the toilet so it can dry off a little bit Next, my Riley, my Riley Sky. My little daughter wanted to help clean, so here she is. I always wipe down the counters. Um, I mean, not the counters. The um, what would you call that? Um, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, the drawers, the cabinets. I don't even know. Um, so I definitely had Riley help me because she likes to help me clean every once in a while, and this is something simple she can do. Um, probably not the best because it has chemicals, but you know. <laughs> Then I go ahead and take everything off that needs to be washed. So the towels, washcloths, hand towels, anything like that. Typically the mats do. I only do that once a month, the first cleaning of the month. I wash the mats. Other than that, I just give them a good shake out. Then I'm clearing everything out of the tub so I can get a good spray. And again, I'm just using bleach. Nothing, I, I normally use this like foaming stuff. I think it's by Kaboom. I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm out of that so I decided I just use bleach 
and then I fill up my tub a little bit so I can get the bottom of the tub clean really good. I use some hot water and then the bleach that's already on the bottom of the tub that I sprayed it with earlier. And I just fill it up just a little bit so that I can cover the bottom layer of the tub just so I can kind of swish my hand around there and clean that up. Then after I'm done cleaning the bathtub, I go around and spray down any like door handles, light fixtures, um, anything that normally gets touched that can carry a lot of germs with the anti-back spray. And again, you're going to want to make sure that you let that sit for 10 minutes. It's super important. That's what the thing allows for. So while I'm letting that sit down, I go ahead and put everything back onto the tub that needs to be back on the tub. And then once the 10 minutes is up, I go ahead and wipe everything back down. Once that's done, I go ahead and take the wet um, cloth, and I don't really spray anything on the baseboard, but I just give them a quick, simple wipe down. Go ahead and clean my daughter's toilet seat too, because, you know, that stuff gets all nasty. Kids are gross. Love them, but they're gross. <laughs> and again, like I said, you want to make sure that 10 minutes goes by, so just really cleaning it up. While that's waiting, I will put um, a fresh towel out, a fresh washcloth out, a um, fresh hand towel out, all that jazz. Clean, change the trash, um, shake out the mat, and I'll do all that other stuff, good stuff, and then I'll wipe down, I'll go back down and I'll wipe the toilet seat down, I didn't show that for some reason. Um, put everything up so that there's nothing on the floor, and go ahead and give it a really good sweep, get behind the toilet, all that jazz. <laughs> I go ahead and get my Swiffer pad ready, um, put a fresh new one on there, and go ahead and start Swiffering. And I always make sure you start in the back of the room, and you can Swiffer your way out. Do this with anything. Sweeping, um, vacuuming, you always want to work your way out. And this is pretty much it. That's my entire cleaning routine. Like I said, it kind of varies. If I'm doing it on the first of the month, I'll do a little bit more, like washing the bath mat and such. But for the most part, this is my typical weekly bathroom cleaning routine. Um, I do this in my, my our bathroom and my daughter's bathroom, and that's it. That's all I need to do. So anyway, I apologize if this is um, awkward. It's my first voiceover, my first speaking over any sort of video. I don't normally do videos like this, so it was a little strange, but I hope you enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching.